Hi, I'm going to show you how to do row two of this flower. I've cast on the stitches and I've knit the first row and now we're ready to do the petal row. It starts with a knit two and then you knit one more. You return that stitch from the right to the left hand needle and then you lift the next eight stitches over it. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then you knit that stitch again and you repeat the process. Knit one, two, knit the third, put it back and lift two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and knit it. You'll be thrilled to know that this actually counts as an aerobic exercise, and you're going to repeat this across the entire row. And if you're thirsty and sweaty at the end, go get a drink of water and come on back but you will end up creating all of these cute little petals. When that row is finished, you will then do a bunch of short rows without actually having to do a wrap and turn or a German short row, and your piece will look like this. I am just about to do the last turn. Was knit 14 and turn, two, four, six, Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And then I simply turn the piece around and knit to the end. This is my last short row. And when I'm done, with this row. My flower looks funny like this. I then cut the yarn long. Thread that end through a tapestry needle. and begin the flower ending process by slipping those stitches onto the tapestry needle and pulling the yarn through. This will take me just a minute to do. The whole flower from beginning to end only takes about 20 minutes to make. You want to pull this yarn through the stitches relatively tightly because that's what begins to curl this flower up on itself. Almost done. Here we go. And as I pull it tight, it turns into a little scrunch ball. And I then begin the curving process. Just lay that all around itself. Pull it nice and tight. And the yarn goes through the whole thing to the other side. Now you can sew a bead or a button in the middle if you want. And what I've been doing is attaching 
a bar pin to the back of the flower and tacking this end down a little bit so you can make it as a pin. You can do a bunch of them. This is a great way to use up all of your leftovers. These are some that I made just last night. It'll take you just about 20 minutes and it's a great way to use up all of your leftover yarns. Have fun.